Alright guys, here's my uh, reef tank and a short video on the vodka dosing uh, and carbon dosing. Um, so let's start with um, the history of the tank. I've had this tank for about two years. Um, had quite a lot of fishing at one point. Had a few problems, um, and one of the one of the solutions was in looking at carbon dosing, um, which you can use vinegar, uh, vinegar, vodka, sugar. Most commonly being the vodka. Um, used to dose your tank um, to create the more bacteria in your tank to um, get rid of that excess uh, nutrients in your tank phosphates nitrates etc um, the idea is is um, as you're dosing your vodka you start off very very slowly um, literally I think it's like 0 point something of a mil to start and then you gradually build it up keep testing your tank um, and in time you'll see that your nitrates will slowly go down. Um, nitrates in my tank have basically been at zero for a very, very long time. Uh, same again with phosphates, never had any problems whatsoever. Uh, with vodka dose, I know it's very much, um, people don't like doing it because they're scared to, but if you start slow, everything will be absolutely fine. Um, you just have to keep a close eye on everything every day to see if you see any problems, any white sludge anywhere, any, any two, the, the, the sign that you'll see when it's first starting to work is a small, um, like a, instead of algae on your front of your glass here, you'll get like a, a very slight film of white film. Um, and that's when you know the bacteria is kicking in, it's working. And that's when you should start hopefully seeing your nitrates starting to drop. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do this quick video. What I'll do is I'll put a link below. It will tell you how much you should add every day each week. So it's the same amount for a week, starting very slow, and then you slowly up it over the coming weeks, keeping an eye on your nitrate. Once your nitrate goes down to zero, what you tend to do is half the dosage and then obviously it slightly go up and you'll just keep dosing um, uh, till you'll meet your the threshold so you'll go keep going up a little slightly a bit a bit you'll what I do is I'll put the link at the bottom and it will tell you how much you should add and at some point you'll you'll reach your middle ground and what your actual dose should be for your tank everyone is different um, mine is about eight mil a day might sound quite a lot but that's just what the tank does for me but as you can see in my tank it's worked absolutely fine everyone's is totally different so everyone will work differently um, and everyone will have their own opinion on vodka dosing but I'm just this video is just purely just what's worked for me and obviously as you can see in my tank looks absolutely amazing after after six months of not doing a water change um, I have not touched it whatsoever uh, one important thing if you are going to do kind of carbon dosing you have to have a protein skimmer because you need the aeration in your tank so if you don't have a protein skimmer do not do carbon dosing at all um, but as I said it's just a quick video on really just an update on my reef tank but um, if you're going to do carbon dosing I'd say go ahead and do it just see how you get on for a bit don't go crazy take your time as everyone knows in the reef tank um, you just take things slow um, so yeah so here's my reef tank anyway all looking absolutely amazing any questions anyone wants to ask um, feel free to pop me a question um, any negative comments you know you get, I'm probably going to get that with uh, no water changes but you know it's what works for everyone um, I'll pop the link in below in the description for the charts and stuff and how much you need to dose if you decide to you want to do this but yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it obviously uh, any subscribe would be amazing but yeah good luck everyone enjoy happy reefing